September 27, the Azerbaijani armed forces launched an offensive along the entire length of the contact line. Both Armenia and Azerbaijan have declared martial law and mobilized their armed forces. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan expressed support for the Azerbaijani authorities and accused Yerevan of escalating the conflict. The Russian foreign ministry called on the parties to immediately cease fire and begin talks to stabilize the situation. The leaders of France, Austria, Germany, and other European countries also called for suspension of hostilities and the start of talks. Starting today at 10.30 a.m., Turkey's F-16 fighter aircrafts were released from Yanja Airport of Azerbaijan and ensured the missile strikes in the direction of Armenian settlements and the territorial units of the armed forces of Armenia stationed in the Vartanis, Great Masrik, and Sok regions in the Vartanis town of Armenia from Dalyar Airport of Azerbaijan through Azerbaijan's Su-25 and the Turkish Bayraktar UAV, as reported spokesperson of the Ministry of Defense of Armenia, Shushan Sepanyan, on her Facebook page. While completing the combat task, during the air defense battles, Turkey's F-16 multi-role fighter aircraft shot down the Su-25 attacker of the military air forces of the armed forces of Armenia in the airspace of Armenia. Unfortunately, the pilot heroically died. Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan tweeted that Azerbaijan, with active encouragement, political and military support of Turkey, is expanding the geography of hostilities to the territory of Armenia. Armenia and Artsakh will give an adequate military political response to Azerbaijan's attempts to undermine regional security and peace, he added. Ahead of Tuesday's special session of the UN Security Council, the Armenian Lawyers Association, which coordinates the secretariats of the CSO Anti-Corruption Coalition of Armenia and the Constructive Dialogue Network of Armenian Civil Society Organizations, has submitted to the UN Economic and Social Council the statements adopted by the coalition and the network, and which condemn Azerbaijan's hostilities against Artsakh. The situation in Artsakh will be discussed behind closed doors at today's special session of the UN Security Council. France intends to call for talks with OSC Minsk Group co-chairs, Reuters reported citing a source in the Elysee Palace. We will trigger in the coming days a coordination of the Minsk Group to clear up what happened, who is responsible, and find a way out, an official at President Emmanuel Macron's office said on Tuesday.